Hey guys, what is up? Red Match here, bringing you some ranked matches. Uh, today we are pushing up, hopefully, into the 2600s and hopefully uh, making our way up to the top with this Dragon deck. Has been very successful up in here at the high rankings. We're about 2500 stars now, so we're sort of hovering in the lower top 100s. I know there are some people, pretty much in, uh, you know, much star diversity here from the 2500s all the way to the 3000s. So, I'm going to throw this ice strike here down the center lane, see how that does. Uh, but yeah, I've been seeing a lot of things. I actually tried out the Warlock Pirate Assassin. That was, you know, the Awaken that was going around. I found that quite interesting to play with, but ultimately I kind of went back to Dragon, because I felt like an Assassin... It wasn't sort of moving well. Um, I was always stuck between the 2300s, which I think is the last time uh, you've seen gameplay. But uh, Yasi now, uh, he played the Call to War, threw the Peasant out, but uh, that wasn't really a good defense. Uh, Earth Knight coming out. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, we can clear it, though. And get us a little Fire Drake action. Ice Drake will go to the castle, and Fire Drake will come in now. I don't know what type of deck he's playing. I can only assume maybe some type of Greed. Uh, the early game, though, hasn't really been uh, promising to him. Call to War for Peasant, and an Earth Knight kind of just seems a bit off. Uh, but anyway, not to worry there. Hunter now. Hmm. Alright, well, Hunter's gonna come out. A little unexpected twist. Uh, we're not going to attack the castle. Instead, we are going to be playing a Green Drake. We'll see how he responds to the Green Drake. If anything pops up in defense, a Hardened Scales will probably be able to help us clear anything out of the way. I do want to get rid of that, though. I feel like that's just annoying. Oh, well. The Magic Eater probably not going to be able to help us much. Hmm. If we draw... No, if we draw an Aeroth right now, it could be super useful. A little chain going off on the castle, clearing the Shaman. Yeah, the Shaman's going to take a castle defense route. Oh, you bastard. There's the Assassin. I think I got to worry about. Do have a counter for that, though. Not to worry. We could play a couple of our units here. I think this is what we're going to do. Take out that Shaman. Not going to use the Hardened Scales yet, again. I, I know, kind of frustrating. Uh, but we got to divert that... Uh, got to divert that Assassin targeting. And hopefully, we can maybe... Maybe haven't hit one of these guys. I don't know what he'll hit. He'll hit the green drake. Alright, uh, so Hunter's probably going to trade off with the fire drake, most likely. We do have some extra bodies on the field, so that's always good. At this point, we have a lead 20 to 11. Another call to war coming out. Ah, uh, the missionary. The missionary will get healed, probably. Uh, will heal the castle. Maybe we should have attacked with assassin or something before, so he can trade nicely. I don't know. School of Magic. Hmm. You really got an interesting deck here, buddy. Um. Okay, so decides to take the faithful out. Well, I wasn't really going for the uh, missionary as a kill target, buddy, but uh, I guess good play anyway. We're gonna trade the archer. Uh, the hunter. I only kill an archer because it's got a bow. I mean, what? <laughs> what do you want me to not? I'm gonna call it by what it is. Um, let's play a stone drake down here. I took out the magic school, school of magic, and not the missionary because I feel like the magic threat's gonna be uh, harder to deal with. And of course, since this guy got it off of a call to war, the instinctive is to just move it up, sort of as a body block for other things. So far in this game, not seeing either uh, Dragon Temple, Aeroth, Surge, we're not seeing any of that, so a little concerning. 
because I do, uh, I do want some of those cards to help us. Maybe if we draw an Aeroth next turn, we can Harden Scale, Aeroth, yeah, Harden Scale and Aeroth would get us a 9, 9 to 13, up on at 4 health, and he's got no heals, obviously. He is thinking now, though. See it. Assassin's going to have to maybe block. I don't know what he's doing with this missionary either. He's just kind of standing there. Timer's running out for him. 11, 10, 9, 7, 4. Pretty sure that's not the way he wanted to take that turn with a complete pass. Uh, search going down, though. Draws Fire Drake and Dragon Tamen. Alright. Uh. Let's throw a Missionary there. Let's throw Dragon Taming. And, of course, we won't neglect our Fire Drake here that we got for free off of Search. Going to 8 gold now. Let's see if he can pull off anything... Anything valuable here. Hopefully don't pass again. Okay, so he's not passing. He's back in the game now. That's good. Oof. Robin's coming out now. He'll prove to be a nuisance. Yeah, that timer has definitely impacted him a bit. At least the end of this turn this time. <laughs> uh, Alright. I think we can safely throw out these two bad boys. And get rid of this assassin. Robins can't hit anything from where it's currently at. And he's got to go down something big to block. Uh, thinking about it now, he didn't use the merchant's favors, so that could be. Oh, I'm scared now. That could be a Craxis coming out. And I mean, granted, I could take it out with what I got in my hand, but uh, Craxis is just not fun. Actually, no. Hold on. Fifteen, five plus the bleed. Four, and if I throw it this on one, two. This timer is not being kind to this poor man. You didn't do anything? He's gonna let the timer run out on him again without making a single move. Oof. Uh, we're gonna throw hardened scales on Green Drake here, throw out Stone Drake. And advanced fire drake up one. You know, I'm always confused. Why do they call this guy Green Drake? But this one fire. Like I remember the time when he was a poison Drake. He was a red Drake. Like a lot of different names for these guys. I won't really help you, buddy. You gotta take something out. Nope. Alright, looks like this is going to be, yep, the game. He surrendered right there. Uh, surrendered, I got all these things happening. Uh, another win, so we are one win closer <coughs> to, uh, whoop, to uh, 2600. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna queue up right now. I will queue up and just bring you guys right into the next match, so. Alright, so back into another match here uh, versus Folklore. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this Dremoth, we don't need it. Shadow Drake, Taming, Dragon Taming, and Fire Drake to start this game off. Ooh, we're looking pretty good. So, right now, Shadow Drake's gonna go up, and then, of course, Dragon Temple I'm going to play. Uh, depending on what he does, though. I don't wanna throw out Dragon Taming. Okay, so... Actually, you know what? Let's throw you there... 
and you there. I don't care if he kills a Shadow Drake. I see that's going to be a lot tougher to deal with. And next turn, we're going to coin into both Taming and Temple. That sounds like a plan. However, our opponent is running Purple Green, so there's a lot of variety with Purple Green. And in this case, these it's monsters. Uh, looks like he forgot to move it up to kill. So, looks like, you know, he, he sent us the mistakes were made play. So, we're going to take full advantage of this. And pretty much throw around some pain on his castle here. Uh, we can't really trade nicely with the Bihi Mothra. And, of course, the monster's going to come out. So, we're already looking to take some sort of damage Really? Alright. Well, now we're gonna throw out you and you and get these oh what oh the pretty quick surrender from folklore there, and that's gonna bring us right into the twenty six hundreds. Oh, Oh, no, I'm not gonna play you. I'm not gonna play knights. Not now. Not now. Uh, but yeah, that brings us into the 2600s. I don't think we're gonna end the video there, though. I'll probably find maybe one more match, and then, uh, we'll bring you guys, uh, that match. So, I'm gonna find another one. I'll be back in a second. Alright, so we found another match. Let's see if this one goes any better. I'm gonna get rid of Dremoth here. Harden skills. Alright, we can work with this. Oh. That's a nice deck you have there, buddy. I, I, I wonder... I wonder what it is. I, I wonder. <laughs> so, Noob Knight here. Looks like he's running a Viking Warlock Dragon, which I can only assume that means we're going to be seeing... What's it called? Rakanoth? Rakanoth. Forgot his name for a second there. Don't judge me. Uh, anyway. Taking out a Shadow Drake. Ooh. We're gonna have to... Well, hmm. Alright, let's take out his second one. Next turn, we're gonna throw out a Fire Drake. So, our early aggression Faithful Drake here. Definitely getting some value out of it. Ice Drake now. So, that's gonna be three dragons that this Drake trades with. That is... Whew, mighty... Splendid. So, Fire Drake goes out now. Let's see if he can counter with another dragon. Temple? Mm -mm. I'm not allowing that. Nuh uh. No, sorry. I am not having any of that. Uh, the Dragon Ball to Temple now is going to help me bring out this green Drake. Uh, really putting this guy on the defense here. Alright, Stone Drake, that's that's fair. I'll give him that. Let's start the Shadow Drake so we can get some value out of Era. We're gonna boop his tower. Boop his Stone Drake. And advance our forces. So looking pretty strong here. We're going to trade Fire Drakes here. And we got to keep on the aggression here. So we're not going to stop pouring Drakes down his lane. Aeroth and Shadow Drake doing some nice work. And we're going to pull up a Ice Drake just in case. Oh, the big boy. Big boy Papa Yarum. Don't you love Papa Yarm? Uh, Green Drake there. War Master down here. Faithful down here. And Ice Drake back here. That's a plan. And it looks like from Loremaster, since we did draw Aeroth, hopefully we can 
push and pretty much seal the win right here. You gotta get rid of the Green Drake. Oh, big boy, double the arm. Either way, that that ends it, so it's just more like, what path do you want to take for this victory right here? I'm gonna clear up that. I think we're gonna end it with the guy who started that. The Faithful Drake. <coughs> so, really aggressive Drake deck I got going here, and I'm hoping to push it even further. But I think three games is good enough for today's uh, set of matches. Um, I'm not going to show the deck list, because I have a bad habit of revealing almost every deck I play. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to keep it a little secret. Uh, have you guys maybe play around. Hopefully, I mean, Drake seemed to be appearing maybe more, and definitely much stronger here, uh, uh, Noob Knight we played definitely got some Drakes out on us at the beginning of the game, and the Yarms were a good addition, you know, a good powerhouse already with a Swarm of Drakes, possibly could have given him the edge, but however, we got our Swarm out faster, we got our forces out, and pretty much devastated, so, that's gonna call, uh, I'm gonna call for an episode here. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and of course comment down below uh, what you think of the Dragon deck as of lately. And until the next video, guys, stay gaming.